Hey everyone, it's Gretchen here, Cat and Paws. Oh my goodness, let me update you a little bit more. I got my empties beside me. In front of the fireplace, we have no downstairs heat. Luckily for us, we have dual zone heating and air conditioning. We just had the unit upstairs replaced. And now, <laughs> last week, it the downstairs heat went. So, quick update, if you're new to my channel, I'm in the process of moving these empties are going to get done so they can go in the recycling bin tonight and i still have not showed the new house yet we just came back down last night because i'm still working down here i live right outside of philadelphia and um it's it's just it's just banana pants you know it's just uh i, I can't explain the insanity in my life so, I hope I'm going to try to get this, through this video. Mark is on his way with some lunch, and I'm starving. It's my lunch time. It's 1 o'clock. That might be him. I have both candle empties, a couple, and some product empties. Most of the Bath & Body Works because I love their shower gel and I love their soap. And so, first up, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Shower Gel. Loved it. You know, it's been around forever. I've been doing Bath & Body Works since... Uh, I lived in Southern Maryland, and that would have been back early 90s. So, um, yeah, it's been a while. They have switched that formula up a couple of times, but I do like what they have now. And then a lot of soaps. There are going to be a lot of uh, fall soaps. Don't Stop Believing. It was Orange Vanilla Swirl. You know, it smell like the creamsicle. And... This one, peppermint sugar cookie. I just got that in order. I think I ordered on uh, Black Friday. And, you know, I really like this. And I really wanted to get more. And they're having their SAS sale right now. Uh, but stuff, you know, stuff is heavy to move. And I'm so tired of moving stuff. Wait till you see the future videos where I'm putting stuff away. And, and I just can't believe how many bags I carried out from here into those U-Haul trucks to get to the new place. But this one was really sweet. But a little bit of peppermint. It was really nice. And I like this a lot better than the twisted peppermint. So I need to look, see if I can order some more. I know I shouldn't, but I want to. Uh, by the way, do you ever notice when you go to Bath and Body Works and you, uh, you, you can tell someone's tampered with them to smell them because they never straighten back up again. So look at that. See how that goes way over there on the side and then it just doesn't go straight again. That bothers me. So I try to watch for See, this one's like, well, I guess really I probably have altered them all now by opening them. So uh, Wicked Apple. And uh, this was nice. Nice apple scent. You know, nice for fall, for Halloween. I'm very seasonal. Uh, afternoon apple picking. This one I'm not a fan favorite of. What is in this? Crisp apple, succulent pear, and cinnamon. Um... Yeah, I have like three of those, and I have one I'm trying to get through right now. Uh, I got to remember, I probably shouldn't get that one again. It's kind of like a funky after smell on your hands. So, there's that. Harvest Gathering, this one's nice. It's got the fresh picked apples, autumn berries, and clove buds. I can never remember the fancy names. So, of course, I'll end up repeating myself. On next year's model ghoul friend mm, don't really care for it I think it has the what is it the plum one um, I don't have my glasses on but it's been around Bath and Body Works for a couple years but you know when you get these coupons and it's like get a hand soap for 325 well yeah and I like variety so there's that fall citrus harvest that's a nice one too citrusy and um, Simple packaging, though. Zesty lemon, mint leaves, and thyme. Not bad. So, some candles. I have not burned candles. I don't think I burned not a one in 2020. And I just started burning again back in the summer uh, because my granddaughter was living with us. And, gosh, she gets into everything. So, mint chocolate chip milkshake. This was one of those. Did that Was that dust cover on? I think it might have been on there. 
was part of the SAS sale in the summer and I picked it up. I don't I don't think I could do this candle again. It's supposed to be chocolate chip milkshake. Uh, good thing about them, the three wick, they, they burn really quick. This one I got at Target and I wanna say they were maybe $3 or $4, something like that. Um, cotton candy, they had different flavors. I have a couple of these and I thought it was cute for uh, Labor Day, you know, Memorial Day, July 4th, that kind of thing. Um, just a small bit of sooting and it was a one wick. I could still smell it, but it wasn't like, you know, it was nice to have for a couple days, I guess. Now, this one right here, lemon cake pop. Look at that. Love, love, love this scent. Oh my goodness, did I fall in love. Oh my gosh. I can't explain what I love about this. It's sweet. It's like, it's almost like a, bub like a gummy bubble gum. Oh my, I could just suck this up. I love it. So real quick, the is supposed to have uh, frosted citrus glaze, vanilla cake pop, sugar crystals with essential oils. But I love this and I got like four of them. I hoped they bring these out again because I will order more. I think I bought one in the store, loved it, ordered online. It was again, like from the SAS sale. So that that is probably my favorite of 2021 um i think that might be all my candle empties there might be a couple more so ice cinnamon rolls uh, again bath and body works comes out with this every year and it is the cinnamon rolls fresh orange and uh sugar glaze and it's a nice scent i think i have a couple I have a couple of those the sugared spell, I ended up getting this near the end of the Halloween season. They didn't have it. And then I went to the store one day, I think, to look at the Thanksgiving stuff. And there was some there, so I grabbed it. Uh, sugared lemons, candy, gumdrops, and sweet musk. And I can't even remember what it smells like now. Or if I even liked it. Ah, it's okay. A little soapy smelling. I think that's that musk in there. So, emptied that out. I have some wax empties, um, autumn homebrew. I got this at a, like a craft festival, just to melt. Uh, it was okay. And that's Mark saying there's a long line at Wendy's. Um, I can eat at my desk. This is more fun to get this done because I've been wanting to do this for a while. I have these wax empties and where did I? Oh, wait, this is a sampler from Rose Girls, and I got the Halloween or fall or however she categorized it. And Chloe opened up the box and had to help me with the wax. And we had pieces like mixed with each other, and I had to clean wax off the my little table. I took the hair dryer, took the hair dryer. Uh, laid a paper towel down on it, sucked it right up. So I have quite a few. Let me get them all out of here. Because I tried to get through the whole sampler. Um, she just wanted to keep playing in it. And see there's like crumbs. And so we just like did something every day. It could have probably lasted. You know, her, scent, her wax is pretty strong. And I probably could have got, sorry about that. I probably could have got a couple more hours out of them. And there's a couple more down here. Now, what is that? I don't know, trash. Trash. Okay, real quick. Cool friends. Uh, pumpkin apple cake batter. Lollipop land. This one was really nice. It was nice and sweet. Oatmeal cookie, fluff puff, caramel apples and cookie land. You know, I'm finding out sometimes I really don't care for caramel. It's pistachio and bear claws. I really don't care for pistachio. Uh, and it, it's just my opinion. It's not that they smell, you know, like it was bad wax. I just don't like the scent. Uh, vanilla pumpkin, marshmallow and cupcakes at Tiffany's. 
these a lot of them had um shapes like the gold friends was like a um, grave uh tombstone and there was like a pumpkin shape uh grave digger this was something blue sage blue sugar sage bergamot and woods you know it really wasn't bad i'm not really an earthy kind of person but um it was in a shape and chloe kept breaking it up and putting it in oh there's a little couple pieces at the bottom it, it really uh to my surprise was like i can handle it yeah just very earthy um almost a little bit of a cologne scent in there and then marshmallow campfire marshmallow with salt water taffy in a cup of cake so got through those I'll shove them over here on this side oh my goodness my back is burning up that fireplace is toasty back here again no heat down here it's currently 67 the blower's on we already had the guy out here to look at it the hvac guy mark went to lowe's or home depot to get a thermostat because he told us to replace that and then they're putting in a whole new system whole new system can you believe that selling this shack and we won't, we didn't, we didn't get to even enjoy the air conditioning we just put in, in November. <sighs> How selling. Oh my gosh. So lemon cake pop again. Let me smell it just for, mm, it's like smelling one of those. No, this is nothing like that, but I was going through our little, uh, cabinet, you know, where we keep our medications and there was one of those Vicks stick up your nose things that menthol. If I could put two of those up my nose, I could suck on them all day. It just soothes my throat. I don't know what it is. Um, and that kind of does that for the, mm, that cake pop scent, mm, love it. So two of those. This little one I got at Dollar Tree. I think it was like a gingerbread scent. Yeah, it sucked. But what do you expect for a buck? It smells good on cold. I could probably like mix that in with something, but the lid's like, oh, just like folds up on you. So I have to kind of manipulate it to get it back on. What what did it say? Rose collection. I have another one of these somewhere, or I may have already, no, I probably still have it. I need to get through it. So milk cups, I did uh, margarita time, you know, another one that's just that lime. I love it. Um, I don't think Yankee, do they still make margarita time? I don't think so, but good stuff. And then spiced pumpkin. You know what's weird about the milk cups? It's like you can't even tell you ever used them. Um, <sighs> There's not much scent in there. A little bit of the brown sugar left. I think it's like brown sugar, cinnamon. I used to have, oh, I found my scent notebook. Don't ask me where it's at. It's in a box at the new house. But I'm like, I forgot about that. I used to write that down and like go through the notes. Now I'm just like a bum and throw it, you know, pull it out of a bag. So nice one there. I have a bag in a bag. Okay. Look, there's another one. The Rose Girls Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Donut Holes Vanilla Crunch Donuts. Um, it was okay. Her wax is pretty strong, though. And I always got, you know, like a good throw off of it. Got through a wallflower and a sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I put this in my bathroom. And you know what? I thought, you know, they say when you're selling a house, you should put something like cookies in the oven or burn a candle. Well, I won't be here to do that. However, I thought about leaving a wallflower. But then I thought, I'm too greedy. I don't want to leave my plug behind because I, you know, Mark will be coming down occasionally, but I probably won't be back down here. I mean, probably not back to the house. By the time it sells, I'm, I'm getting some work done, uh, some perio work done on my teeth, but he's so booked and I, I, the house will probably be long gone before I start coming down to see him. Um, we'll just make the trip. I say down, but it's really, we're, we're moving three hours west. So I'll be driving three hours east to, to 
get my all my work done. But I, it's worth it, you know, because I already am established with the the guy. And anyways, pumpkin cupcake. I have one of these right now in my new house that I'm trying to get through. It's really nice, you know. It's kind of that sweet cupcake um, scent. Not a lot of pumpkin, and uh, it you know really something like that you can kind of do year round if you wanted to autumn s'mores i remember i liked this one it was crisp apple gooey marshmallow and cinnamon spice so that was nice um i think i only got one of those because you know you look at something you're like oh autumn s'mores small walls and kind of you know for me it it's kind of like, do I want to, I don't want to waste money on getting soap. I'm not going to use perfect pumpkin, sweet cinnamon pumpkin in a uh, Halloween packaging. So nice. But I don't buy a lot of that because since I do use the shower gel, um, I try not to, you know, because you kind of smell like this all day. So candy corn treats. This is from last year or the year before. Do not, do not, do not like this scent. It has marshmallow lavender and candy corn should never be mixed together uh i suffered you know like <laughs> i suffered with the soap oh that sounds so bratty but when i'm washing my hands i would like squirt 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 just try like squirt as much as i could to get through it yeah and that's the last one of those Another Wicked Apple. Oh, I'm so staticky because of the, I have a, a heater at my desk. I'm using one of those, you know, uh, floor heaters, little ones. And I got cold, so I put it up on a, um, a chair and I was blowing it on myself. And anyways, autumn apple picking was causing some static. So another one of those. Yeah, I really, really thought I'd like that scent. And however, I, you know, out of my likability of it, I'd probably want to give it a four. Pumpkin apple, name says it all, pumpkin and apple. Yeah, a lot of soaps. You got to remember, it wasn't, but, you know, a month ago, there was uh, four adults and a child living here. And so we went through a lot of soap. And in general, I just wash my hands a lot. You know, I feed the cats, wash my hands, do the litter box, wash my hands, go back and wash my hands. You know, things you should wash your hands for. So I just tend to go through a lot of soap. Raspberry tangerine, nice. I think this might've been an end of summer scent, probably into August. And raspberries, fresh tangerine, lemon zest. So that one was a nice one. Wash those paws, coconut pineapple. You know, Bath and Body Works came out with these goofy, uh, these goofy packagings were I just like these they had that shark one they also had a couple other ones boardwalk uh, vanilla cone again I probably use this the end of summer now I haven't went through much soap with just Mark and myself but um, I'm probably still finishing three no probably yeah probably about three a month not if i had to guess alan 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 margarita i usually pick this up every year it's you know that that limey uh and sea salt it is nice can't go wrong it doesn't leave no weird after smell that's an uh product empty fresh lemonade it says lemon juice, lime twist, and sugar crystals. However, there was something really funky about this. And even Mark goes, you know, that smells really funky. I'm like, I know. It, it's just, it, it just, there's some something else in it. I can't explain it. Maybe like a, a rose or, or a lavender or something they snuck in. Or just left a really soapy smell in my hands. Here's another one. What's shaken? Cookies and cream milkshake. I probably should avoid that one. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going through a, I don't like a milkshake period, but look at that cute 
do, man. That's what gets me. That's what makes me want to buy it. My last soap, empty, is Sun Wash Citrus. Now, you would think, okay, here we go. Sugar, lemons, juicy, pineapple, and mandarin. Maybe that's what I thought that was going to kind of smell like. However, this one smells better. This one smelled funky. So, I usually get the Sun Wash Citrus because it's just a pleasant one to have in the house. My last candle empty was Root Beer Float. This is our company our own candle company and it smells really good in the the tin it was okay i wouldn't like give it i'd probably like give it a four for the throw it wasn't fantastic and then of course i panicked with it being in metal and you get down the end i always burn my candles on a uh, like a plate from yankee or something like that you just put that buffer between the candle and the surface uh, so, I mean, there's still probably another light on it, but, you know, it's probably like up here, but I don't dare, you know, because of fear of something bad happening. It did soot just a teeny tiny little bit, but it smells like root beer float. Yeah, that definitely that kind of like m molasses licorice smell that that's with root beer. Not that real strong though, but because it, it's tampered down with sugar. Um, I've had this for quite a while. I have a couple of these that I got at a small, um, it's like a small Mennonite market. And just, you know, I just need to start going through them because I will say this, as I've been moving stuff and I've smelled stuff, cause you know, you're like, you own it and you want to smell it because you haven't smelled it in four years. That's, things start to lose their scent after a while and i'm thinking i paid all this money and here i've hoarded it and i just need to enjoy it and etc i look i keep looking out my kitchen window because we're supposed to get snow today and i don't know if it's snowing or not today is the 27th of december in case you're wondering now when will this video be up hopefully soon because i don't plan on doing much editing Dawn Power Wash. Have you guys tried this stuff yet? They have a couple different scents right now. I think I have the apple. Um, this was just the fresh scent. And all you do is, see, this is the, like the refill bottle. And it goes, you hold it down, you go, and you spray your pans. Does that number. And you let it set there. You don't put water in it. And then when you're ready, you just scrub it. And my goodness, does this stuff work? You think, that can't get that off of there. Well, guess what? It does. Now, it it kind of smells funky when you put it on like a hot pan. Um, it has that weird, you know, like, because the pan's hot. But if you can get through that and walk away from your sink and then come back about 20 minutes later, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Now, there's probably stuff in there that's going to kill me, but, you know, there's probably stuff everywhere that's going to kill me. There's that. So, one empty bag... And just seeing if I had anything at the bottom. I got this from Cracker Barrel a while back. You know, Cracker Barrel has the best bags. It says Owl. Let me straighten it up here. Be home for Christmas. Yep. Um, and they're great reusable. So, of course, uh, it's now a couple days after Christmas. Everybody that uh, did partake in the celebration, I hope you had a great Christmas. It was very nice. We were up at the new house. Kids were over. My nephew and his wife was over. You know, Brett, even my son made it, and his girlfriend, my sisters. Uh, it was tight. I won't lie. You know, we were kind of makeshifting the chairs and, and squeezing into it because there's boxes everywhere. But it was fun. I went out to my sisters for Christmas Eve. And then uh, she did the char is it charcuterie boards, I think she calls it. Uh, and then, you know, Yankee Candle sent me a email of, they used the, the I think the, pep the peppermint cocoa candle and they did like a charcuterie board with it. And I said, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Of course, you can't eat candle wax. However, you could eat the cookies. So I did save the picture. How silly is that? I figure if I ever have a party, I'd like to entertain like that. That would be fun. 
So yes, Christmas Eve was nice. Christmas was nice. Um, I did get a couple gifts. They're sent at the new house. Um, so there's that. That's the update on that. I hope everyone did have a uh, pleasant weekend. Let me know if you got anything special. Maybe you got engaged. Maybe you, you know, got to have something that you normally don't get to have. A good, a good food or something. And I'm going to... That's my empties. I'm going to uh, flip you around real quick. Uh, and show you uh, the progress on the house because we're just about done. And and then I'll call it a day. So bear with me a second. So since I don't have my tripod, you were you were up on a shoe on my on my uh, chair. <laughs> gotta gotta make do with what you got, right? So there's all my empties. I'm sitting in front of the fireplace. I need to clean. We are sleeping on an inflatable bed. And some things to still, oh, Mark's here with my food. There he is, man of the hour. I'm almost done. With what? I'm doing a video Oh, real quick. So I can go help him. So here's my office space and there's the heater up on the chair. <laughs> uh, junks, 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 so. And no, it is not snowing. Not at all. It just looks foggy out there through the lens. However, I will wrap this up and so I can go help him. So I'll keep you updated on what's going on. And pretty soon we'll be at the new house. Let me know what you're up to and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.